love your pet. Yep, so do we. That's why we want to keep it as healthy and as happy for as long as possible. And that's what this show is all about. Keeping your pet nice and happy and healthy. Now, one of the ways of doing that is getting the best use out of its medicine. But what does that mean? Well, Rob the Vet is here to tell us all about something called compliance, which is a very hot topic at the moment. So Rob, how do you get the best out of your medicine? Well, compliance is currently really, really hot. Um, what we're talking about is getting the right amount of medication at the right time to the end of the treatment. And the idea of that is to achieve a clinical cure. We want to make sure we get no drug resistance and we want to make sure we don't get any disease recurrence. Now, as a veterinary surgeon, I prefer to see this as two things. Number one is honesty and the second thing is teamwork. Okay, well, what do you mean by honesty? I mean, surely people are honest with you when they come into the vet? Okay. Well, in order to achieve a good diagnosis, what we need is a good, simple, easy answers to the questions that we're asking. And that relies on the owner giving us good descriptions of symptoms, but it also relies on the vet actually listening to them carefully and then getting them to expand on that. One of the biggest problems that we have is that owners want to, want to please us. So they want to answer the questions in the way that they think they want us to answer them. Okay which often is no information to us whatsoever. What we want is good, truthful symptom descriptions, and then we want them to be honest with us about their abilities. I can come up with a good diagnosis, I can give them the best medication in the world, but if it stays in the pot and they can't get it into their animal, it's absolutely useless. Well, here you've got a range of different products and different medicines that you would give to an animal, so show us the difference and how you can help. Okay. Well, the pharmaceutical industry is really good for us. They give us a huge range of drugs that we can use. And they've listened to us in that if we have a small cat, they'll give us a small tablet. Mm. They've given us tasty tablets so that the animal will just come along and eat it like a treat. I mean, there is no point trying to get one of these into a cat. And that's where we need to be a little bit honest. They've given us liquid medications and this one's really sweet tasting, and that works really nicely. They're also available as a powder, which we can mix in with the food. And then as we get further along with things that are easier to do, we have our spot-ons. And then as a last resort, we have long-acting injections. Now this one will last us about 10 days. What we require from the owner is that they're honest enough with us to be able to say, look, I can or can't give tablets to my cat. It will or won't eat medication. I can use a spot on, or you're gonna to have to inject it. Our only problem is, the most available medications we have come as tablets, and then we get less and less available as we get the different preparations. So if we go back to the original question, we require honesty from the owner in their ability to give medication, and we require teamwork in the vet thinking, sometimes out of the box, to be able to pick the one that will give us all the way to the end of the course. As a last resort, we have our vet nurses. They're brilliant and they're available to owners. All they need to do is ask. They can bring the animal in day by day and they'll medicate them for them. So it's about the relationship that you have with your vet. The more honest you can be, the better service you'll get back from the vet. Absolutely. And it's about getting the right medication in at the right time as well. There's lots of other things we've got to be careful with. Some medications are twice a day, and ideally they want to be 12 hours apart. Some medications are once a day, with food or without food. All of these different things you need to put back to the vet and say, look, how can I do this? What's the best method? Okay, so if you love your pet, make sure you love your vet as well. <laughs>